Hey guys, it's Wood from Push Block Gaming. And I am Spooks McDog. And uh, I know we're a little late on this, but we're finally filming the uh, Q&A special. We have a whole lot of your questions and we're going to try to answer as many of them as possible. So stay tuned for uh, what are sure to be some pretty interesting answers. And some pretty high quality memes. Uh, I'm Wood. I'm one of the, I guess, co-founders of the content part of Push Block. I guess I can say that. Um, I help run the YouTube channel with Spooks. Basically, I make most of the content you see on the YouTube channel so far. That might change in the future, but all the analysis videos, the meme videos, um, all the shit posts, all the facts and stuff like that, uh, that's me. Um, that's pretty much all I do is, I, I do do commentary as well sometimes. All right guys, I am Jeff Spooks McDoggesons. I'm the Chief Technical Officer of Pushbot Gaming as well as the Content Director. Um, I also have a pretty extensive uh, Smash resume. I've worked multiple majors, including uh, working with Unrivaled to pull off the player intros that people seem to lose their shit about. That blew me away, as well as working with Gucci Gaming at Frostbite and uh, Smash and Splash at Rivals of Aether. So, uh, yeah, that's me. Hi, I'm Annabelle, and I'm a hostess and interviewer for Push Block Gaming. I'm Benson Obama, and I'm Push Block's sponsored player. I do my best to go to big tournaments, get the name out there, and do really well. All right. Hi, my name is Marco Rodriguez, and I'm the chair of operations for Push Block Gaming. Basically, what I do is that I create uh, agendas for each meeting that we have among the core Push Block, which would be Everence, Jeff, Ryan, uh, Ben, and myself. And so this is what we do sort of like back, I do mostly in the back end. So people ever rarely see me ever on social media for reasons among Pushbok. I might be on there for other reasons as in uh, buy that shirt now. Anyways. Hello, I'm Hellcry. I am the graphic designer and production director for Pushbok Gaming. As well as founder, I, I did manage. I did manage to create this whole thing. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Landon Crook. I go by Surge. I am a stream technician for Pushblock Gaming. I also do other stuff with Pushblock. I just kind of do whatever I'm asked to do. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm I'm Johannes Vorst Shadow, uh, and I used to make analysis videos. Not anymore. I am the Wayne, and I pretty much just do whatever I want. That is essentially my role here at Push Block. Wonderful. Hi, I'm Jencom. Sometimes Jencom Alisarian. I'm the doubles guy. I didn't get to play this month, but I'm usually the doubles guy. Uh, for Push Block, I mostly just do commentary. I, I guess I'm also some kind of player, but. Not officially sponsored as one, I just rep the name. All right, I'm Ryan, God of Grunts Whited. On paper, I'm the CEO of Pushblock Gaming. Uh, in real life, I mostly do streaming and a little bit of programming and QA. I kind of wear a lot of hats, kind of just do a little bit of everything. I mean, Game & Watch. Why? Because I think it's a really awesome idea for a character. I think it's a really um, inspired idea to turn an LCD game into a character. He's also the most represent representative of his series, of the entire cast. Everything down to his grab animation and his walk cycle are all from his games. Um, I also play a lot of Wario, but that's mainly for gameplay reasons, not because I like the character that much. Um, just because he has similar air speed stats, he's heavier and has a kill throw, so he's my L uh, low risk, low reward character. I actually, I mean, Rob, Link, Doc, Luigi, and Falco, all of them. Actually, no, I technically just main Rob and Link. Though I'm trying to trying to make Doc one of those mains. I just play characters that I have fun with because I mean, I ain't shit competitively. I am terrible. I am bad. I am not good at this game. <laughs> so I play characters that I have fun with, and I meme, meme. I main Game & Watch because he's trash, and the people that lose to me are worse than me. So, that's why I play him. 
Next question. See, I'm in Mario. He's, he's the realest dude out there, you know? He's that working man. He, he has that working man spike. He has a working man down there. He spins to win. He just he has all the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I main the king himself, King DDD. Um, I didn't choose to be the royal guard. The royal guard life chose me. <laughs> the King DDD has just been one of my favorite characters for a long time. Uh, Kirby, it wasn't my first game as a child, Kirby Superstar, but it was probably the first game that I was like mentally capable of understanding because I was like five or six when I played it. And, uh, the mini game in Kirby Superstar, you like you have to press a button really fast. And you like fight each other, and I think King D is the second enemy. He's not supposed to be that difficult, but you know I was six, right? And like he just kept beating me, and for some reason I just like got that rivalry love relationship with King DDD. Good stuff. And then in, he's just super fun, and, and Smash Four, even though he's awful, he's got the Gordo, uh, Gordo combos. Oof. When the Gordo hits just right. <laughs> Uh, I guess historically I mean Fox because I don't like letting people play the game and I like fast things because I, I don't like waiting to win yep probably a polarizer film for a game and watch I was fixing I can't think of another reason why someone would buy something like that purchased I right, skeleton me Y'all may or may not have met Senor Spooko, the big house skeleton. Yeah, he's mine. All mine. Motherfuckers. See, it's like, there's weirder things I purchased, but like, uh, the Hifumi breast molds from J-List, just because I was like, I have to buy this because it's my waifu. Like, I can't not own this. It, it, it is specifically like, this is modeled after my waifu's breast. I need it. I already have a body pedal. I have the Nindoroid. I'm going to get every official figure that's ever released. Like... So one year I was cosplaying as Catwoman as one of her props is a whip. So where do I find a whip, you know, in stores? I had to go to a certain kind of adult store to purchase this whip for my cosplay. I plead the fifth. A subscription service to a website. You know the one. I really liked Foster's. I really liked, um, I thought my gym partner was a monkey, was really underrated. Um, I liked Camp Laszlo a bit. Uh, pretty much anything from Cartoon Network from the year 2000, over from like 1996 to about 2006. And we're Gucci. Uh, as a kid, my favorite TV show was Ben 10. Ben 10 was my shit. I fucking loved that show. As an adult, my favorite shows, uh, Gravity Falls, and then my favorite live action show is probably Person of Interest. If you haven't watched that, you need to. That's like, when it was still on air, it was called the best sci-fi show on television. It was that was correct. It's good. It's good. Listen to me. Trust me. I'm an adult. I pay taxes. I totally stole that joke. Ryan made it earlier. <laughs> I I jacked the shit out of that joke. That is my joke now. He didn't make it on the internet. And I'm the editor. <laughs> it's my joke now, motherfucker. Probably Beck Mongolian Chop Squad. It's a it's a coming of age story, and it has some really good uh, acoustics. It's an anime. Oh, well it's then, easy without Dallas Steinsgate. Well, it's not a TV show on you know American TV, but I've been watching uh, a lot of My Hero Academia recently. Dead Man Wonderland, maybe. Um, I, it, ha it has to be Trigun, dude. As like a kid. Something about him and the priest dude walking around with a cross, like, it's an anime. It's an old school anime, dude. It is the shit. If you haven't watched it, you're missing out. Oh, New Girl. New Girl is my favorite TV show. Damn it. You said anime, so I could go, No, see, I can't do that because the meme is, is that I have to pick the show that I've watched. 
Oops. I have to pick this show that I watched that everybody judged me for watching. And I was like, no, but it's actually good. And everybody gave me shit for. I'll be Wee Fit Trainer. Um, she's really funny because she talks shit to you the whole match. Um, she literally flexes on you. And also she has great skin. Um, I don't care about the color. She has like no pores, no acne, nothing. And she has a really great HD face in Ultimate. And she looks great. Looks great. She has a really nice voice too. Really calming, really relaxing. Who? that's a good, good question. Also, anybody who says Ultimate Zelda, Ultimate Zelda is only 16. And everybody's like boner baiting her. And I'm like, I'm calling the FBI. Uh, but realistically, who? You know, Daisy's a boss ass bitch. I'd hit it. Smash analysis will be dead as soon as Ultimate comes out. I figure no one wants to see a demo <laughs> when the game's out. It's kind of obsolete. Um, however, do not do not fret. Um, I will transition into character reviews. I figure game's fresh, meta's fresh, people are trying new things. It's a lot of experimentation going on. This sounds weird, but um, people are gonna be people are gonna be buying the game fresh and they don't know who they want to main yet so um, I'm going to be doing character reviews where I play a character for a certain amount of time I get a gist of how they're gonna play and I go over like are they good at this are they bad at this do I recommend using them for this or that and that way um, in the same way that people get excited over my analysis videos of oh I want to try this character I want to do the same thing with that but when after the game's out and I have a chance to try the character out myself just think of um look up critical Chris on uh, YouTube. What he does for Battlefield guns is what I'm going to do for Smash characters, basically. I'll give him a rating. I don't know. I don't know if people want to hear my opinion. <laughs> hey guys, it's Spooks from the editing room. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for being patient about this. We finally got it shot late October, and then I've been editing in some way, shape, or form since. And this video actually killed my PC, and I've had to rebuild since then. But we are back in business. I would like to shout out to all of our patrons. Uh, as you can see, our Discord Plus and VIP patrons are pictured here. In the meantime, I will be getting back to work on bottom 10 moves on bottom 10 characters. I speak for all of us here Bush Vlog when I say thank you so much for all of your support, and we hope to continue to provide content you love going into Ultimate. Thank you guys, and have a good rest of your night, morning, weekend, or whatever time it is you happen to be watching this.